I don't want to lose Boyd. If Boyd doesn't miss, this guy dies, and then there's three of them. So, assuming that, how much can Ike do to the boss? Not nearly enough, and the boss can... Three hit KO him. I can take the boss by himself one on one, but I'm afraid of the boss taking out other characters considering I can't one shot the boss, so I might take out the boss with Titania. Just because I am scared of Boyd dying or Rise dying. Because if Rise heals Boyd, then Boyd's fine, but if Rise doesn't heal Boyd, then Boyd's dead. And if Rise heals Boyd, of course, then uh, Axe Bros go and murder Rise. So. You'll see my predicament. Oh, she can't even kill him with this. How about. Alright, Steel Axe. There we go. We'll just take out the boss with Titania, and all will be well in the world. Probably. Maybe. Let me double check this. 100% for Ike. And it'll be not into 9, 9, but times 2, so he'll probably hit just fine as well. Okay. Assuming Boy doesn't miss here, because this guy's not going to be able to do 16 damage to Boyd, I should be fine. Just don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss! Good job, Boyd. Woo. Uh, we'll let Ike get the kill. So we will rock you. That's not what I meant. <laughs> yeah, alright. I was just making sure I couldn't heal Boyd. Because I'm like, if I'm going to take out the boss and this guy this turn, then I was like, can Rise just move here and heal Boyd? Nope, that guy can still get him. Oh, well. Hardy der. Oscar Rangers! <laughs> that made sense. Shut up. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I could move him. I always forget that. Grr, silly Derek. Tricks are for rabbits. I guess we'll just keep him here. I mean, that's a good enough spot. Okay. And then he's dead, and then Titanium takes up the boss, and then that either ends the level, or Ike or Boyd will take out the other Axe guy next turn. I don't remember. I think it's Route, which means just take out the boss. So I think Titanium will just end the level when she kills this boss. Which means I'm wasting some EXP with this guy and with Titania taking out the boss, but for the most part... Can I actually block the... No, because the boss will probably be able to kill Boyd. Yeah, these guys will be able to gang up on Boyd. Mmm... Yeah. I gotta play it safe and take out the boss. Under normal circumstances, I totally... Totally try and let everyone else take out the boss and get EXP from the boss. Because the boss normally gives good EXP. Demoness. <laughs> but Titania is like the nicest lady ever. Well, that's not entirely true. She's like kind of like, like the tough motherly type. She's still technically nice, but she's a bit rough sometimes. So I guess Demoness makes sense. Yeah, see, that's about XP, which is what she got before. This time she got 28, I think. Or was it 29? I wasn't sure. <laughs> I will impede your walking pattern. <laughs> yeah, he can't do 16 damage. Good. Go, boy. Fight all. Woo! Looks like route just means do kill everything. Well, is there any trading I need to do between the characters? 
I believe I need to give Oscar an iron sword. I mean, give Ike an iron sword, because Oscar currently has the iron sword. Oh, I have spare vulnerary. Does anyone not have a vulnerary? Did I miss, like, a dialogue thing where I was supposed to give someone a vulnerary? Probably. Oh, well. You can just keep the spare vulnerary. Void has one. Okay, Titania doesn't have one. I was probably supposed to give one to Titania. That's fine. Titania doesn't need one. She's a tank. Nothing can do anything to Titania. Sup, Brosif? Prepare to... If I meet your maker, I mean you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Ooh. And that's the death song. Maybe that's a boy that's arguing with, uh... When I was just skipping through the text, maybe he was just worried about Rolf. Cause I don't think they've actually said that they're brothers yet. I don't think it's like a super huge secret, but I don't think it was revealed early game, so... I think it's revealed later on through support type stuff. Don't piss yourself. Poor buddy. <laughs> yeah, he says buddy too. Book up, buddy! <laughs> oh man. I like how they gave that bandit a unique face. I don't think he's ever used anywhere else. They gave him just a unique face just for this dialogue scene. <laughs> now that's some dedication. Some artists probably spent a day on that. Well, maybe not an entire day, but it was probably part of a day. Because you have to sketch out the design, and there's also shading involved and whatnot. I mean, you can easily, if like the artist is good enough, do that in just like an hour or less, but I don't know. I think that it would take most people at least a day. Oh yeah, I remember, uh, Shinin, or whatever his name is, shot the bad guy with a bow. Where's Shinin? Okay, I, I, my computer, which is where I've got all the recording and whatnot, well, recording too, is covering up the little error so I can't actually see the bottom, uh, right-hand corner's faces. <laughs> I both love and hate Shinin, or Shinin, or Shinon, whatever. I both love and hate him. He's such a cocky asshole, and he abandons Ike in his time of need and whatnot. But I also love him because he's a cocky asshole. <laughs> Gatri! He also ends up abandoning Ike in his time of need, but I don't think Godfrey really meant anything by it, whereas Shinin was just kind of like, Ike, he's just some little scrub, I don't need to take orders from him. Whereas Godfrey, I think he just wants to go get money and like he has a job to do. I don't think he abandons Ike out of spite. I don't know. Anyways, point is fanfare. Do 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 Yeah. Cause we did good and we beat the level and everyone's like, oh that was unbelievable, you guys are so great. And it's one thing that uh Fire Emblem does is it really, really like I guess the dialogue is very heavy of you did a good job. It wants to make it very clear that you are the hero and that you did a good job. Even though a lot of people died. Like, if you actually think about it, Fire Emblem's like a very, very bloody game. If there was blood. Of course, there's no blood, so. Um, but, like, if you think about it, it's a war strategy game. So, I think 
part of the reason why the dialogue is so kid friendly and so you did it is to draw focus away from the fact of that you just killed a bunch of guys were they bandits yeah but were they all bad guys no some of them were probably just following orders heck later on you just kill people in, in like militaries and armies and whatnot they're definitely just following orders most of them probably wouldn't want to normally attack you so if like, you actually think about a lot of the fights in Fire Emblem from the bad guys point of view it's pretty dark anyways I totally skipped the uh, dialogue again my bad I think they're just talking about more mercenary stuff. Are they getting after Ike for going out alone without Titania and attacking? I think that's what was going on. The Grail was concerned for Ike. Cause he's just like, you shouldn't have gone out alone, son. You're too wimpy. What if Titania hadn't arrived? Well, then Boyd would have died because the only reason why Titania was used was because uh, Boyd might have potentially died. And if Boyd didn't die, then Rise would have died. So, uh, that's the only reason why... That's the only possible bad thing. I would have been fine. <laughs> oh, whoops, B-Button skips it. I thought B-Button was going to, like, move the dialogue a little bit faster. Sorry. Oh, well. I'm sure that, like, 90% of you didn't care about the dialogue anyways. Because most people aren't patient enough to follow dialogue. Or rewind after I talk over the top of everything because you can't concentrate because you're busy listening to me. Because it's really hard to read and listen to someone else's uh, sentence at the same time. So I'm assuming some of you are actually the Duke of the Dog are probably ending up watching the episode twice or something weird like that. Well, it's not weird. I mean, it just means you care about the dialogue. When I'm just running in circles, my tongue's just. Bleh, bleh, mm, 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 Okay, so I kind of spoiled that uh, Gautry and Shinend eventually leave your little group, but you can get both of them back later on, so they are worth using here. They're not like Titania where you shouldn't use them because they're not worth it late game. Gautry's definitely worth it late game. Shinen is relatively worth it late game. I think Ralph does outpace him, but... Uh, anyways, there's a little map thing where I can uh, do strategy and whatnot, but I'm just going to save and call it a session and go to sleep because I'm tired and I don't want to make a huge mistake here. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Fire Emblem back to back? Was there some sort of mistake? Nope. I'll be posting the next two episodes of Bloodborne back to back, so I figured I'd do the same here for Fire Emblem. It lets me finish Chapter 2 as well. Cool stuff happening in Bloodborne soon, and when Fire Emblem returns in a few days, I got a special surprise for you guys. So get hi, 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 hyped, yeah.